Hey, this is Nate Story with Bright Agritech, and today we're going to talk about boron as a plant nutrient. So, we got a few requests as part of our micronutrient series to really start talking about um, some of these lesser known micronutrients. And we got specific requests to talk about boron, which is a little bit odd because it's not commonly deficient. So boron is one of these elements that's usually fairly plentiful in aquaponic and hydroponic systems, but it can be deficient on occasion. Boron is used for plant wall, uh, cell wall development, so uh, for basically helping those uh, plant cell walls strengthen up. It, it functions to help with the production and the regulation of some uh, plant growth hormones, okay? Specifically plant growth hormones that regulate root growth. So anytime Nate's story starts talking about root growth, you know he's going to start talking about potassium uptake. So this is one area where boron is really important. If you have plants and you're trying to bulk them up, if you have plants and you're trying to get really good root development, you really want to be thinking about how much boron you have in your system uh, because it has a, a, a big impact on the ability of plants to take up uh, potassium really efficiency, efficiently. So that's, that's really the main thing that boron does uh, for you and for your plants. You won't necessarily have to supplement boron uh, very often, but if you're kind of in that phase where you're trying to uh, get some good root growth, it's not a bad thing to supplement boron on occasion. Now the only true and, and best way to do this is to send a water sample into a lab, have them test it, have them tell you how much boron is there, or have them do tissue analysis and tell you how much boron you have, in your plants, but if that's not available or if you don't want to go that far, um, I usually say do a pinch or two uh, for fairly large systems once a quarter to once a year. Somewhere in that time frame should be plenty of borax soap. So this stuff is the cheapest and easiest way to supplement boron in your system. This stuff is about 10% boron, uh, 10 to 12% usually, and uh, it's, it's a great way to supplement boron because it's cheap. You can get it at Walmart, you can get it just about anywhere. Um, soil guys will mix about a tablespoon of this into a gallon of water and they'll spread it out over, you know, 100 square feet. Um, so little goes a really long ways with this. What I do is usually not even that um, precise. I'll just basically take a pinch of this soap and I will drop a pinch of this soap in once every several months. So maybe two to three months, my system gets this much boron. And um, that's, that's how we supplement it. So again, just to re recap, you don't wanna be worrying too much about boron unless you're seeing some poor root development and you know your potassium's okay. So um, this is something to be thinking about uh, in a few instances. Go buy yourself some borax soap. It's gonna last you for, till the end of your life, basically. And it's gonna be a really cheap and easy way to supplement boron. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video in our micronutrient series and make sure you check out the Vertical Food Blog for more details on boron and all of the other plant nutrients and how we manage them in hydroponic and aquaponic systems.